Hi, I'm Sarah Wiseman and I'm the polo manager of the All England Polo Club Hickstead. I'm here to talk to you today about polo equipment that we use on the pony and on a rider. This is Daniel here, my guinea pig, uh, my guinea pig polo rider for today, and the horse is called Chiba. Right, we're going to start with the player's equipment first of all. Let's start with the boots. Polo boots have got to be predominantly brown or black, and as you can see, they're pretty thick leather. We've also got knee pads, again, predominantly brown or black. Um, basically, we need as much protection as possible in polo because it is a contact sport. We're constantly riding into other players, so our protection is very, very important. You can also wear normal riding spurs in polo as well. Okay, now if we look at the player here, we're wearing a polo helmet, um, obviously for, for our protection whilst we're playing polo. It is specifically made for polo and there are various types that you can buy with various levels of protection. Uh, we also wear polo goggles, this obviously protects our eyes from sticks and also balls. The arena balls don't matter so much because they're actually made like mini footballs, but outside the ball is very, very hard and quite small, so we obviously we want to protect our eyes so we don't get hit at any time. Polo stick. These come in different sizes, different shapes and sizes as well. They can come in different weights. It just depends on uh, personal preference more than anything. Uh, we also ride with a polo whip here. And uh, I think that's generally the, the polo equipment rounded up for a player. So we'll move on to the horse. Okay, now we're going to have a look at Chiba, the polo pony here. We're going to go through all the tack and the equipment one by one. Um, most importantly is the protection of the horses. Uh, with sticks and balls and other horses galloping around at high speeds, we really, really need to focus on protecting the horse as much as possible. And also, because it's a fast sport, horses are stopping and turning all the time, so we have to protect their tendons and make sure that their joints are protected at all stages throughout the game. If we have a look here at Chiba, she's got four bandages on and tendon boots on the front. The bandages are there to protect her from sticks and balls, but also to support her tendons as much as possible. And the same goes for the tendon boots there. Uh, if we move around to the back of the horse, I don't know if you can see around there, her tail's actually tied up. We put the tails up so that when we're swinging the stick, if the horse gets a little bit excited, as they sometimes do, um, they like to swish their tail. So having the tail up just stops the stick from getting entangled in the tail. Um, as you can see as well, polo ponies, they don't have manes generally. Swing around for me. There you go. Good girl. Uh, this is just to stop the mane from getting tangled up in the reins, various things. As you can see, a polo pony has a lot of gear, a lot of equipment around their neck area, so without the mane it just helps um, stopping it from getting caught up. It's more for the comfort of the horse, really. Um, so let's look at the bridle that she's got on here. If she's going to turn her head and be helpful. There you go. Um, just a normal gag bridle. Um, in polo, we generally use gags or we use pelhams. Um, but again, as with any equestrian discipline, it depends on the horse. You can use whatever suits the horse, really. So it's up to you as a rider to know your horses and to put the right equipment that suits them for the sport. Um, we've got a standing martingale. This just stops the horse because it's a stopping starting game. It stops them from lifting their head up too much because what we want them to do is work from their hindquarters as much as possible. Moving on, we have a breastplate. This just stops the saddle from sliding around. In polo generally, saddles are made as a general purpose. They're not made to measure, so you can just go and buy a polo saddle and put it on your horse. So the breastplate just aids the saddle from staying in position. Um, the next thing that you'll notice actually about the polo saddles, if I just get Daniel to take his foot out of the stirrup and move his leg back, we have no knee rolls. The reason why is we need to be able to move around in the saddle as much as possible, so we can't have any sort of restriction there. Um, I'll show you a little bit later when we're doing some riding work what this means, why we don't need to have the knee rolls there, but that's just one of the main things with a polo saddle and also you'll see at the back very very flat again to help us with as much movement as possible, as much flexibility for moving around in the saddle there too.